Bad management and a lack of oversight. That's what the Federal Reserve's review blames for the implosion of Silicon Valley Bank. The report finding Silicon Valley Bank failed because of a textbook case of mismanagement by the bank. Its senior leadership failed to manage basic interest rate and liquidity risk. The Fed also criticized its own role, saying Federal Reserve supervisors failed to take forceful enough action. It was the appropriate mea culpa. But it didn't name names. It didn't get into the detail, the granularity that we need. The report says part of the problem is legislation passed in 2018 that weakened banking rules. The report recommends a simpler and stronger oversight program. But experts say the first draft report is missing detail. I don't want to hear about new regulations. I want to hear about why the Fed dropped the ball in this case. Cornelius Hurley is a financial services law professor at Boston University. He says taxpayers should remember it's their money. Money. We should be more village vigilant of our regulators, whether it's the FDIC, the federal home loan banks, the Fed, uh, because it's our money that they're playing with. In a statement, Senator Elizabeth Warren says those responsible for these failures must be held accountable, including Chair Powell, who failed in his responsibility to supervise and regulate banks that posed a systemic risk to our economy. And the FDIC also released a similar report on Signature Bank, the collapse of Signature Bank, blaming that also on poor management.